Did you click to watch because of the thumbnail? Mm -mm. For shame. For shame. <laughs> Hey guys, yo, what's up? It's your girl named TVT coming at you with an anime review. Yay! Something different. I know I said I'd review Iwatobi Sim, Sim Club Splash 3, but yeah, when you make a video that has barely 30 to 50 views, it kind of discourages you, makes you think like, yeah, people don't give a shit about this. But that never stopped me before. I'm sure I reviewed sometime, but I had to talk about this anime Kuzo no Honkai, Scum, Scum's Wish, <clears throat> as it's called in English. Um, I don't even want to look at the anime anymore because I realized that looking at the, the subject matter that I'm talking about makes me review things for longer and I do not want this to be more than five minutes long because this anime has royally fucked me up <laughs> but I don't, I don't even know where to begin. First of all, yeah, this anime is basically softcore porn, but it's not. A lot of people on the review forums think it's sex in every episode, and I'm like, have you seen Game of Thrones? Shut up. And I really did not want to talk about this because a lot of the moments, well, for some it made me feel uncomfortable, but that's probably the lesophobic, whatever you call that side of me, but... Oh god, I need to calm down and talk about this thing from the beginning. Okay, episodes that mess you up. There are shows that kind of are twisted. When I first, I think the first anime I was fully introduced to was um, Full Mental Alchemist. And that was, that just fucked me up in a way. I don't know why, but I liked it. Even Full Mental Alchemist Brotherhood, it's kind of twisted, but you like it. The kind of twisted anime that I really did not like was Tokyo Ghoul. I did not like it at, at all. It was a pain to endure from beginning to freaking end. But this one, I loved everything about it. The whole premise. It's it's this psychological question of what is love? What is being in love? How do you know if you've taken it too far? When is it okay to stop? And when should you give up? Is this relationship good? Is it healthy? It's ask the deep questions and a lot of people can relate, understand or have seen before and obsession is a bad thing and everybody has been obsessed. Everybody has been obsessed with somebody at one point but it's like when do you let go? So this anime, I'm gonna say the spoilers but towards the end so if you still have, if you still want to watch it you know sit down binge it the whole thing is four out for four hours it says 4.6 hours long so I can't say four hours 60 minutes four hours 35 minutes long I guess math I can't think right now I just woke up because I watched this anime yesterday and because of how it ended I was so pissed. I had the first two episodes with me. I loved it. And yesterday I was like, okay, let's get the other 10. I did not go to bed till 2 a.m. because I was just binging this shit. And I did not like how it ended. The last two episodes sucked. But let's talk about the ones that didn't suck. So the whole anime revolves around these. Well, I wasn't revolve. It, it showcases the six characters. We have. Hana, we have Mugi, but those are the main two. They both have crushes on their teachers, but it's an unrequited love. But you can see how obsessed they are. At least with Hana, it's more pure. Uh, with Mugi, I don't know what is going through his head, but I won't judge. Oh god. Hana's best friend has also a crush on her. I know this is like spoiler territory but it was revealed somewhere around season 3 so get over it. Mogi has his own childhood friend who has a crush on him and then there's the teachers and this, this bitch, I have for lack of a better words, maybe an evil, vindictive, bitchy side. We all know where we all fear her. She was afraid of this bitch. Like this is the person you are supposed to avoid at all freaking costs. 
Now I won't spoil everything that happens in the anime. I won't say any little things. I'll just tell you what happened at the end that I did not like. But her, yeah, she can go royally fuck herself. She can go die in a car fire. I know that in and of itself can be spoilers, but us girls have a bullshit detector. So unless you are aware of that, going into this anime, it might go, it might just take you for a loop. But again, episode 3, most of the shit hits the fan at that point. But the only pure person is this teacher, but ugh, god, I'm getting ahead of myself. It just shows you this is not young love, somebody younger love and somebody older. This is somebody that has seen this person to be the object of their desire and they present the question of if it's not the person you love, will the, will it ever be good enough? What does it feel like to be kissed by someone you love? Questions like that. But having to replace the person you love with someone else and then questioning if that person is good enough and if the relationship you had with that person that you replaced your original love with if that person is healthy <sighs> okay this review is getting long it's already past the five minute mark but the ending that i didn't like is okay you can cut off here if you don't want to hear spoilers but the ending that i didn't like is the two main characters didn't end up together they broke up well they didn't break up they just said what they had wasn't healthy and they need to find true love so I was okay with the ending but I was also not because what I know we've been through all this bullshit and a lot of people say the last two episodes were rushed but still I get the fact that they weren't together there were reasons for that it's not healthy it's actually it this episode this whole season shows you what a toxic mindset what a toxic relationship looks like but another part of me was thinking it could have worked because you know each other you understand each other and when i look on the forums a lot of people said it was moogie's fault he broke a promise and i was like yeah if he hadn't done something around episode seven they might have had a chance but he also had to go down his own path of understanding and getting over his obsession because she got over hers quicker than him it's 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 a mixed bag but i really i i was okay with the ending till i heard what other people had said and everybody felt like it was a waste and yeah even me i was like i just wasted my time i really liked this thing but the ending just wasn't fulfilling just did not make me like it at all but it's a bittersweet ending because your realistic side understands that yes stuff like this is not okay some people might not like it some people might not some people think that it's real, that they can relate to it because it's real. It's not just a happy dappy, they end up together kind of thing. But what people don't understand is, why I don't look to media to get realism. I have too much real bullshit going on in my life. I try to find happy dappy shit just to be happy. So when you present this type of things to me, yeah. But yeah, that's, that's my review of this whole garbage fire, this whole beautifully i forgot to mention it's so beautifully and gorgeously animated music is amazing has been in my head all night like i'm trying to think of other shit i'm trying to dream of other things but this anime just kept coming back in my head but it's good writing voice voice acting <laughs> voice acting is good animation art style i kept rewinding and rewatching scenes just to see eye movement or head movement because it was so smooth and beautiful i should have said this at the beginning because i know most of you have clicked off by now but that's where i'll end this review if you want to watch it because of the boobs and titties do you boo boo if you want to watch it because it interests you that's good but not it's an experience you have to experience it for yourself nothing i can say will actually spoil it for you just be prepared to feel like trash everybody agrees with this 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 series does not make you feel good it makes you feel terrible and a lot of people were happy when it ended so for those of you for people who lack emotion this is good for you this will make you feel something but that will be all for me i really need to go and watch some my little pony some teen titans go i need to feel happy again <laughs> but 
thank you guys so much for clicking to watch please don't forget to read my books on wattpad so i'm paid <laughs> support me on patreon and follow me on twitter and as always don't forget to like comment subscribe and stay forever awesome this is tvc and an out <laughs>